Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation from here? We have this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. And to solve for x and y, let's subtract equation 2 from 1. So we have equation 1 minus equation 2. And this implies x squared minus y squared. That's the you know, left hand side, which is equal to here we have 3x minus 3y then plus y minus x on the right hand side then here we can equally say this is s square minus y square which is equals to here we have 3 into bracket x minus y then here we can change it as minus into bracket x minus y so it, it, this will still give us minus x then plus y then next step we have this as x minus y x minus y this is 3 and this minus you know now we need 2 into bracket x minus y and this is f square minus y square equals to 2 into bracket x minus y now then next step we take this to this side and then we can say this is f square minus y square then minus 2 into bracket x minus y then equals to 0 from here then from difference of two squares here this can be written as x plus y then into bracket x minus y then minus 2 into bracket x minus y then equals to 0 from here then here we have x minus y come on so let's factor that x minus y out then what is left here we have x plus y and what is left here minus 2 now which is equals to 0 so here we have these two brackets at this we have the first case is x minus y equals to 0 and the second case here we have x plus y minus 2 equals to 0 and here x is equals to y and when we solve from here using the first equation which is x squared equals to 3x plus y from equation 1 here x equals to y so here we can replace it as x and this will become x squared equals to 3x plus x and that's x squared equals to 4x then we can take 4x to this side and this become x squared minus 4x then equals to 0 here we can factor x out and we have x now into bracket x minus 4 which is equals to 0 from here then from here we have either x equals to 0 or we have x minus 4 equals to 0 and here x is 0 then we have on this side x is equals to 4 then from x equals to y since x is equals to y it means from here it means that y here also will be equals to 0 and the y here as well will be equals to 4 so when we call this one x1 y1 so and this one x2 y2 so we have two set of solutions here and then on this side now we solve again and from here we have x plus y equals to 2 from here now also from this same equation one that we have here which is x square equals to 3x plus y then we 
can write y again from this equation and this will become y equals to 2 minus x so we substitute this now in this equation 1 and we now have x squared equals to 3x then plus 2 minus x from here then from there we have x squared now equals to here we become 2x that's 3x minus x 2x then plus 2 then let's take everything to one side to form equation we have x squared now minus 2x then minus 2 then equals to 0 so now we solve this quadratic equation now from the quadratic formula is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a here a equals to 1 b is minus 2 and c is minus 2 as well so now x now equals to minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 square then minus 4 times 1 times minus 2 then all over 2 times 1 and from here this gives us here we have x equals to 2 now plus or minus square root of 2 plus 8 sorry 4 that's minus 2 square that will become 4 plus 8 then over 2 then here we have x now equals to 2 plus or minus root 12 over 2 now and then root 12 here we can separate that as put in 3 so that's x equals to 2 plus or minus root 4 times 3 then over 2 and root 4 here we separate it as we separate it out and that's 2 so we have x equals to 2 plus 2 root 3 then over 2 now these two can go in 2 and these two here and we have x equals to 1 plus root plus or minus other that's 1 plus or minus root 3 which means we have two you know values of x here as well so x1 here is 1 plus root 3 and then x2 now is 1 minus root 3 now to get the value of y from equation that we have which is y equals to 2 minus x then that means y1 will now be equals to 2 minus x1 which is 1 plus root 3 and when minus open the bracket here y1 will then be equals to 2 minus 1 minus root 3 which will give us y1 to be equals to 1 minus root 3 so here we have sorry we have already gotten x1 x2 so let's call this x3 now and this as y3 and here we have x4 now to get y4 here we also use this and y4 will now be equal to 2 minus x4 which is 1 minus 3 and that will be y4 now equals to 2 minus 1 plus 3 and y4 will now be equals to 1 plus root 3 so now we have four sets of solutions and then from the first one that we have when we write it out you know properly the first set of solution which is x1 y1 we got that to be equals to 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 then x2 y2 we got that to be 4 comma 4 that is they are the same then x3 y3 here 
we got that to be x plus 1 plus root 3 then y that's 1 minus root 3 then and the last set which is x4 comma y4 we got that to be here what does 1 minus root 3 then comma y plus root 3 so here the value of x here is the same thing as the value of y here so it's interchanged and here we have this first set of solution from this given problem thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell share this video put your comment see you next class and bye for now